Today we're gonna to be talking about how to put a lav mic on a fitness talent. Usually these things are bouncing all over the place and you get a bunch of rustle. I'm gonna show you my technique and how I do it. Stay tuned. Internet, welcome back. It's your boy Robert Teagarden here today talking to you about miking techniques, putting a lav mic on fitness clients. Uh, before I get too far into it, if you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. So if that's something that you're into, stick around, join the community. I'd love to see you around here a bit more often. So there's a bunch of kind of confusion and research in terms of how to most effectively put a lav mic on your talent. Uh, and so we've gone over a bunch of different miking techniques here on this channel before, but today I wanted to show you a technique and a hack that I use that I think would be really effective, really quick tip, but I think that you're going to love this thing. Let's jump into a shoot where I explain this thing in full and I'll see you back here in the studio when I'm done. here at Fairfax Training in Los Angeles and we got my man Jason over here has been a champ today all day. I'm actually going to show you how I mic'd him as I take off his mic. So really what I did here, which you'll notice the first thing is that I've got an ace bandage here. Now this is the same thing that you would find if you like busted your ankle and had to wrap yourself up to kind of limit the mobility of what's going on. And the reason why this is crucial for us rather than just straight sticking something on him or clipping something on him is that we want to create a space in which their mic can sit where this thing's not gonna move up and down, right? So if I take this off, what you're gonna see is that we actually wrap Jason up over here. And I got this little velcro -y thing to work out. As I start taking this thing off, up here in front, what we use is we stuck our mic to the back of the ace bandage, and that ace bandage went right directly on his sternum and gives us one of the best pickup places that we can have in terms of what our miking pattern looks like, right? So this ace bandage is crucial. If you can find it with a little bit of this kind of adhesive or kind of slick backing to it, that's also a plus as well. So once I had this on him, I was able to mic it up, run the cable up onto it, and then stick our, uh, our right coat, which I'll show you in just a second, onto the back of this thing. And really what that gave us is a nice place where the microphone's not gonna jump up and down, uh, and we're actually not gonna have it falling off a shirt, so if he starts sweating on his shirt, it gets wet, things tend to fall, and the adhesive just gets lost within two seconds, right? So this thing's huge. The other thing on these right coats that I wanna show you, and Jay, I'll take this for you right now if you want, my man, you're totally good to go because I know it's a little bit I will say that shit. was the easiest time I've ever had. See? Doing fit, do, especially doing fitness stuff, that made my life easier. And no jumping up and down, no tripping. This didn't, thing actually stayed on. Yeah, we didn't even have to, to stop do. once. To That's it, right? See, I only paid him 100 bucks to say that, so there you go. It's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. So the big thing that we did here, as you can see on the back, I used this little felt piece here uh, and the sticky pieces here. Now, this comes from a company. This isn't endorsed or paid. Uh, from right coat uh, and they're called these undercovers and I'll give a demo of this like as a b-roll but basically it comes with these little felts in white black and gray and then these little double-sided adhesive stickies so this is what I use to adhere our microphone to that ace bandage and this little piece of felt just gives us another layer of protection in terms of the rustling that you would hear from like chest hair or a shirt hitting it just another little layer before the mic is actually touching that thing too the last thing I did was we used our Rode Video Wireless Go or whatever these things are called. These things are crucial. Not only are they great in terms of the transfer and Wi-Fi and being small, but the reason that I love them so much is that they're compact. As you can see, I just had this clipped onto Jason's belt loop like this. And because they're small and he's doing jumping jacks and high knees and all this movement, the weight of these things doesn't actually pull his pants down or fold out over on top of what he's got wearing. And so it just becomes a really easy and mobile use of a wireless pack that we can use. As you guys seen before in the video that I've got somewhere over here, I use my super handy dandy audio case that we've got going on. So these things sit inside with the Zoom H6 and we're riding faders as people get up and down. The last little piece that we did, which is always great to have redundant audio capture. We've got our boom mic up here, which you saw us messing around with as well. Um, really just gave us the ability to have two different size audios, one on the lab and the other one in the boom. So we're gonna be able to kind of balance those levels out, but even if he kind of ended up sitting on top of this in like a push-up or it kind of moved around as he was moving, I have an additional audio capture source there. 
So this is really my go-to when we're doing fitness stuff. It's small, it's compact, it's really effective, and the audio capture is really great. Small little tuning and EQ, put a little bit of compression on that thing, and you should be good to go. So I'll move it back into the studio to close this video out, but there you go. Really quick and easy way for you guys to have great quality capture that'll last you a long time. So there you go, quick tip on how to laugh mic your talent to keep them from bouncing all over the place, get it sweated through and all that rustling. If you like the video, like the damn video, and if you haven't already, I don't know what you're doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for post notifications. Like I mentioned, I post content on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. So if that's something you're into and you found some value out of this, I hope I see you around here more often. With that being said, that's another video in the can. I'll see you all next week. Peace.